Hi everyone, welcome to the Brew Bear Beer Festival, very, very kindly sponsored by John from Aussie Brew. Up on the show today, it's episode number three or four, we have a Chinook Pale Owl. Look at that, there's the, the man himself, Big Aussie, who lends his name to the channel and keeps John out of mischief. Now, I'll quickly read you the programme notes that John, uh, John sent me up on this one. Um, the Aussie Brew Chinook Pale, 5.25% ABV. Um, it's a Cooper's Australian Pale Owl kit, and he's uh, pimped it up and tweaked it with 500 grams of light DME. Mini bowl for 14 minutes with 15, 15 grams of Chinook, then 1 minute 15 grams of Chinook, 1 kg of Brew Enhancer, uh, dry hop 22 grams of Chinook after 7 days. Drink around 12 degrees. Well, this is 12.8 degrees at the moment, so it looks fantastic. Get it popped, poured into a glass and see what she is like. We've got our Star Wars bottle opener, Aussie and John may the froth be with you. Right. Oh, look at that. Fantastic cannon smoke again. All been absolutely top notch, John. Look at this. It's still going. Oh, oh. Right. We're going to use a... We're going to christen this, actually, John. It's a Paul Anna wheat beer glass. Appreciate some of you purists might say, oh, you've got the wrong, you've got the wrong glass. But um, I do quite like a tall glass for cold-ish beers of this particular ilk. So, horses for courses. And if we were all the same, the world would be a boring place, wouldn't it? So, look at that, pouring a beautiful textbook pale owl colour. So we'll leave that one there for, for a minute. Love them labels, really, really do. Put mine to complete and utter shame. Look at that, fantastic carbonation on that. Look at that, beautiful colour as well. That's a, that is a, a, a textbook pale owl colour. That's slightly... Um, it's almost went amber and gold. Look at that. We've got a nice, probably three, just under three finger head of be beautiful pure white bubbles. It's a great glass. It looks a great bit. Let's go for a sniff and see what we get. Mmm, pine. Bit of spice, maybe. Not me, old spice, but maybe a bit of uh, white peppercorns. A bit of um, black pepper as well, just as the contrast between the two, and citrus notes as well. Smells absolutely tip top. This does so. Dive in, John, Ozzy, cheers, chaps. Cool. Never done this particular Cooper's kit. It's got a good body to that. Um, I've used Chinook a couple of times. I find them quite, quite palatable, quite, um, quite subtle. Sometimes, if you have something like Centennial, Columbus, and Cascade, you know, it's a real smack in the face with a wet kipper. Um, I find Chinook a bit more ref refined. Probably not the right word, but a little bit more graceful, but a little bit more delicate than those. Yes. You get the pine, um, citrus, maybe a bit resiny as well, but not, you know, not overpoweringly such that you only can taste hop and not necessarily the beer. I've found, you know, from over the years on my home brewing exploits, if you do something like Cascade and you put absolutely shed loads of it in, all you know, that's all you get is a hop. You, you don't, it, it masks the actual backbone malt characteristics of the beer so yeah it's a, it's a fine line but I think Chinook is a good uh, a good uh, hop to use that citrus really really comes through on the back end um, it's coming through even more so at the moment I'm wondering if it's just sort of even just in this sort of you know two three minutes that I've been waffling if the the temperature of it is uh, slightly dropping and Improving that particular characteristic characteristic of it. That's a really really nice beer. That is. It's also pale ale, which I you know I think I sometimes call them like a transitional beer. If you've got a, a you know mate or a chum etc. who a bit of a lager person doesn't drink anything else, something like like this would really get them 
onto the road to maybe you know getting more into like you know real ales type thing as opposed to just drinking cans of you know macro mass marketed um, supermarket fizzy pop lager as such so that is very very nice John it uh, it looks good it tastes good fantastic carbonation great head retention good boot a good body on it as well a bit like me great body so uh, as you know we always score these things is it good bad or ugly from a spaghetti western that for me John that's another Clint Eastwood that is that is a really really good one like that great citrus notes on that that's a that's, that's a ruddy good kit that is Never brewed one myself, but I um, might keep an eye out actually and uh, pick one up and give it a go because um, something like that in the summer, I think, you know, wouldn't even touch the size, that would just go down really, really nice. So, um, very well brewed again, John. Um, um, and that's all I can really say. Very enjoyable. Go check John out if you do not already do so. He is the, the inventor of the Tuesday Tipple. Great kitchen as well, as I keep saying every week. And he's probably, I would say, he's, be, he's probably the best. Best kit brewer out there in Brewtube, uh, Homebrew Wednesday land. So, yeah, top guy, top beer. Cheers, John. Cheers, Aussie. Woof, woof. Be seeing you.